to make a big comparison of uh, thermal clip-ons and this film is a short version of the one that I published in German a couple of days or weeks rather ago. Um, we created a setup which should hopefully make the different devices comparable. Um, we chose a bow target uh, as uh, well a target to show you and then we compared the devices all under the same conditions with different magnifications as you can see here, without a device on. And now let's look at the devices. With the thermal clip-on, it's of course most important to know whether the rifle and the scope, in addition um, to the clip-on or combined with the clip-on, will actually really shoot well so that you can humanely kill game. Um, for this purpose, we took a rifle, we made a test shot um, without a thermal clip-on attached to the scope, and you can see here that the performance is quite good. What we did not do is that we adjusted the point of impact with each device um, <clears throat> before or after shooting. So we were just looking for shooting groups um, to see how well uh, you could basically perform with the devices clipped onto the scope. Each device is possible to um, well adjust the point of impact um, to the actual scope. Um, so you can basically sight in the device to your particular scope um, and what we can give you here is an impression of how well um, you can shoot groups with such devices clipped onto your normal scope. So what we could show you is that all devices perform well on 100 meters distance. Within that distance is certainly possible to kill game humanely. That's what we're mainly interested in when we use such devices for hunting, say, war, for example. Um, and yeah, which device you choose is a question of your budget and your personal preferences. So go out, take a look at the devices, check what you like best and make a decision. All right, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the show and uh, tune in again. Give us thumbs up and subscribe if you like. Thanks. Bye.